Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about my crocheted Havana twists, which technically are called the Mambo, wait, what? The Mambo Havana Twists by the Jana Collection brand of hair. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about everything that you guys may need to know about these crocheted Havana Twists um, and questions that I had went before I installed them and was looking up on YouTube and everything like that. Yeah, let's get started, okay? The number one thing that I think a lot of people ask me whenever they um, see me with this hair is, is it heavy and how many packs did I use? So to answer the first question, no, it's, not heavy but it's not super lightweight like everybody on YouTube is saying honestly well that's just my personal opinion they can get heavy depending on how many packs you use um, and how close you put them together right now they're not too heavy but like when I put it up or something like that you can feel its weight and it's nothing like having big jumbo braids in your hair of course not but um, it does hold weight so uh, the answer to is it heavy Yes, it's kind of heavy, but it's not super duper duper heavy, so yeah. I purchased seven packs, but I only ended up using around five and a half, six packs. You can definitely get away with five and a half if you don't want it to look too, too full, but I like my hair really full, so I went ahead and used half the pack. You will get a lot of compliments when you do this hair, or if you decide to do this hairstyle. Um, lots of people love it, depending on how you install it. Um, Honestly, I feel like there's a technique to doing crochet Havana twist or crocheted hair period just so that it doesn't come off crochet like. Um, you know, you guys know when you do like crochet hair, you can see like the parting of your braids and stuff like that. Like you can see where their braids are beginning in the lines and everything like that. But I don't like that look. I don't care for it. So in this technique, you guys will see how I crocheted the hair onto not just the braid itself, but the the space like you know how you'll make a braid and then there's the braid in the middle and then your hair that leads up to the braid that's why I put the crochet uh, this that's why I put the advantage so that it's not just in a straight line and it actually fills in the spaces or whatever so just so that it doesn't come off too obvious that it's crocheted hair and honestly nobody ever really knows that it's crocheted hair a lot of people have been catching on now just because it's been going around YouTube and it's been going around um, the Tampa area so a lot of people know about it but beforehand nobody really noticed it was actually crocheted hair the way that I sleep with this hair is I just take a scarf and I just wrap it around my head and then after that I take my extra large bonnet cap you guys can find this at your beauty supply store it's not that comfortable sleeping in I'm gonna be 110% honest but for the most part you'll get used to it I guess you can wash it I personally have never tried it I don't care to get this hair wet um, I don't care to get any of my hair wet. That's just my personal preference. I don't like to get my weaves wet. The thing that I do when I get in the shower to keep make sure my hair isn't getting wet is I do the same routine as my nighttime routine, but the only thing differently that I do is just I add a plastic bag underneath it just to make sure the back of my hair doesn't get wet. And then when I want to wash my face, I just wash my face out the shower um, just for the sake of the front of the hair. So For the most part, I always keep my hair up in the shower. I don't let it get wet, but my sister has and she had the same install and she voids it all the time it doesn't unravel for her and it doesn't mess up or tangle or become matted or anything like that so it worked for her but i personally have never tried it on myself so for the braiding pattern of this hair i wanted to do something different because normally people would just braid the hair going in cornrows straight back what i noticed is that i already had this hair installed having it braided straight back and in the front getting messy it kind of is a hassle having to take out all your braids and stuff like that so what i did i wanted to have my hair braided half going half right here and then going up this way because one if you guys seen in my styling tutorial on these twists you guys will see my end braid showing and that was so annoying and when I was filming that I didn't have any mirror I was outside and I was literally using my viewfinder to do the style to combat that problem I just went ahead and braided my hair going up and then the front going up and they just meet and intersect right here this is a great technique if you have very short hair um, if you have longer hair, my hair, my natural hair stops about like right here. So it's kind of bulky back there, but honestly, you guys can't even tell. I added braiding hair because the first time that I did it, I didn't add any braiding hair and I braided my hair straight back and it didn't last that long. It literally lasted about like 
two weeks for me and I like to take really good care of my hair so that says a lot. Please do not braid your hair really tight um, because it is hard for the crochet hair to get through the actual braid if you braid your hair too tight and if you use too much braiding hair and it can be very very painful if you're not careful. So this is exactly how I crochet my hair. Um, I like my braids a little tight but in order to combat the problem of getting the hair through the underneath the braid I just wiggle the crochet needle um, so that when I'm pulling it it's not just the pull because you can rip out your hair so just make sure you're careful and just slowly but surely you just wiggle the crochet needle to get the hair through your hair. You can find this hair online or if you have a Beauty Depot in your area, you can go ahead and check out the Beauty Depot in your city to see if they have it in stock. They have a multitude of colors online, which is awesome. So if you want to try something new like all blue or all burgundy or all gray, I was thinking about doing all gray on my head. I don't know if I'm ready for all of that. You can do anything honestly with this hair that you would with just regular Havana twists that were done straight onto your cap, your scalp. I said your cap, wow. I believe that is it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will leave links to where you can get this hair, the crochet needle, and the bonnet, the extra large bonnet down below. If you guys haven't checked out my how to style crochet to Vanitas, I'll make sure I'll leave that link down below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Welcome, welcome. And like this video if you liked it and if this information was helpful in the process of you getting your hair done like this as well. So I'll see you guys in my next video, which is next Sunday. I upload every Sunday, so stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.